If you've parked your car under a tree the last few weeks, you've probably returned to find it covered in sap. It's a problem that comes around each year, but folks say this year it's especially bad. News Channel 5's Jason Lamb takes a look at the little insect that's causing it. There you go. All around Nashville, people seem to be playing the same tune. Well, you can call it the sap blues if you want. Dealing with the same sticky situation. Wow, there's a lot of sap on there. Want to super wash or? Sending car after car for a cleaning. Well, you got a tree sap problem. Tree sap? Well, yeah, tree sap that's on your car. I washed all the vehicles on Sunday and by the next day they were covered again. The thing is, experts say all the sticky stuff is sap, but there's a little more to it, and it starts with these guys. Well, aphids are little small little insects. Ones. The aphids eat the sap from trees to get energy for laying eggs, and then... So some of that leftover liquid and sugary substance is excreted. Excreted, a nice word to say that all this is really... In poop. Bug poop. <laughs> Bug poop. Really? Okay. Nice. It is crazy, and it's gross. <laughs> Especially when it won't wash off. It's this kind of sticky... Lipscomb biology professor John Lewis says the woolly aphids love the maple and hackberry trees that are so common around here. And a lot of people think it's pollen or something like that, but they're actually small aphids. Your best defense against their sticky droppings, he says, is a simple high-pressure hose to wash the aphids off the trees or just wait a little longer. The leaves are dying off right now, and they die and uh, fall off the trees, then no more food for the aphids and, and the problem will, will go away. Turns out the sap blues might be more accurately called the bug poop ballad. I think I might have been happier going on in my ignorance thinking it was just from the trees and that it wasn't bug poop actually. Jason Lamb, News Channel 5. I wonder what those were. <laughs> Experts say they don't recommend using chemicals to get rid of the aphids because those chemicals can also kill insects that naturally hunt the aphids. Carrie, good.